Looking at page uh, eight of the standard today, we also have uh, well matters politics, and this is something I know many will be waiting to see uh, the list that is expected when it comes to cabinet secretaries. Now, five CS is missing on the list of prospective cabinet, and uh, well. This, of course, is one that uh, the country is waiting to see, and uh, the president had made it clear that he was going to release this list in the new year. So now we are in the new year, and uh, we're waiting to see who are going to be the implementers of the vision for Jubilee. <laughs> I know there's a lot of anticipations when it comes here. People have been you know, raising their voices, so you have to consider so and so, you have to consider so and so. But um, mine will just be a concern with the president because this is his last term, and what he sets out will definitely sparkle or will definitely define his legacy at the end of this. Mm. This is not the time to please people or the time to please specific individuals. This is the time to abide by the constitution and the rules of the law of this country. The requirement that any person that is holding a public office, there are considerations that must be met. One of them is the, the face of Kenya must be reflected, the regional balancing, you know, the gender balancing. So the president must take into account all these factors. And more importantly, must take into account that now as we stand, the country is very much divided. And he wants to form that an inclusive government, that everybody feels that they are reflected in that government, that he is trying to reach out to all of them. And I'd said here even before that if I were the president, what I will do to even to uh, spearhead this healing process or to send a good legacy at the end of uh, my term is to ensure that even those who oppose me the most benefit the most in my government. Because that is now how you heal a nation. Mm. That is how you define your legacy as you go. It should not only be that you only reward those who are loyal to you, but also see a situation on how you want to reach out to the, you know, the whole nation, how you want to bring people together. Because these are positions that people really you know, are concerned with so much. These are positions that people really feel these are the rewards that people should be given. Mm. So I think it should be done with a lot well, of... Well, we'll wait and see how his formula and how his uh, strategy is going to work out and what strategy it is, because there are those that might argue giving a position may not necessarily uh, reflect inclusion. It could just be a position that is given to an individual and they benefit on a personal capacity. But then again, that's another whole argument altogether. So there you go. On page two, we also 